I think it's nice to draw a line as well and uh, keep what's important and close to you. I think it's nice to draw a line as well and uh, keep what's important and close to you private despite extensive media attention and fans' incessant curiosity. It seems like Taylor Swift and Travis Cal's love is here to stay. However, there is one person who is absolutely jealous about the fact that Taylor has moved on and that person is none other than Joe Alwyn, her ex-boyfriend. It seems that Joe still has a strong bond with Taylor and he is not pleased with how swiftly she moves on however rather than expressing his sorrow in a reasonable manner. Joe chose to publicly criticize Travis Kelsey, which is unusual for him since he typically values his privacy. You can probably understand that Taylor was not very pleased about this and became quite angry with Joe, however. Why did Joe say it? Specifically, and why is he so angry at Travis Kelsey? Is he acting jealously above all? What was said by Taylor in today's video? We will uncover just this, so be sure to watch through to the very end to ensure you de own this a single juicy aspect of this celebrity drama. In addition, remember to subscribe to my channel in order to get updates on any celebrity happenings in order to fully comprehend this whole scenario. Let's go back to 2016 Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn began dating in that year and in. 2017, they made their relationship official since their degrees of renown differed many people were first quite skeptical of the connection Taylor had a reputation for dating very prominent men before she began date. In Joe, in retrospect, it seems like she was attempting to establish a more personal connection. Conversely, Joe was already doing okay, but prior to dating Taylor, he was unknown around the globe. Even now, fans speculate about who made the choice to keep the relationship so secret, although many think Joe tried to make things more private. Their relationship seemed to be going well for years, and Joe had a significant influence on Taylor's music. For instance, Taylor revealed a much more mature and profound and side to herself in albums like Reputation Lover and Evermore, which were published during the time of their relationship, Delicate and Call It What You Want, are two songs that discuss a new love that was undoubtedly influenced by her love for Joe Alwyn, the album's Evermore, and folklore included the most overt references and inspirations. Taylor was more of a pop music fan liking catchy tunes before Joe, her new tracks, nevertheless, took a somewhat more quiet indie and alternative turn they made an attempt to keep their connection quiet, yet rumors about them persisted. While the paparazzi sometimes managed to get a few pictures of them, Taylor wasn't actively attempting to gain attention. In contrast to her prior engagements, their appearances in public were relatively seldom they seemed content. For years, and there was even much gossip that they were getting married and starting a family at one time. But things took a turn for the worst at the beginning of 2023, with news that Taylor and Joe had split up. They ended their relationship the same way they had ended it, by keeping all the tiny nuances of their split secret. This implied that no big revelations or remarks in public were made made fortunately for fans. A number of sources began to provide more and more information about what transpired. And the reasons for their breakup, the most reliable source claims that their relationship ended because of their disparate degrees of celebrity. It seems like Joe struggled much to accept the idea that Hat Taylor is far more well known than he is all of his professional achievements were not due to him rather. They were only made possible by his connection with Taylor Swift Joe. Was infuriated by headlines such as how Taylor Swift catapulted Joe Alwyn from a shy Bristol student to an enlister in Hollywood, rather than discussing his issues with Taylor, in a normal manner, he became quite angry with her. The same source claims that they called it quits, since this was too much for their relationship. It became clear in the months that this wasn't easy for Taylor. She was often observed sobbing during her performances, even while she was singing songs that were composed with or for Joe. But a few weeks later, she was involved in a brief romantic connection with Maddie Healy. Unfortunately, Maddie got himself into a lot of problems, and they split up a few weeks later, her career would have suffered if she had continued in a relationship with him. Conversely, Joe handled the split in an entirely different manner. He made the decision to go fully underground and withdraw from society for a spell when he was photographed by photographers in London. Around two months after the split, he still had a sad expression. However, Taylor's love life remained mostly quiet after that, as she was occupied with her Summer tour that quickly altered, however, in October 2023. At this point, Taylor's romantic life was interrupted by NFL athlete Travis Kelsey, 
some of Travis's pals claimed that he was scared to ask. Taylor out, since he had a crush on her for a time. Travis had enough confidence throughout his Kansas City Chiefs winning run. She accepted his offer to join him in one of his games right away. As you might guess, once she was seen at the game, rumors began to circulate following that Taylor and Travis were more often seen together. She even invited several of her pals, along with her at one point a few weeks thereafter. They were first seen together in public. She didn't attempt to keep it a secret unlike. Ike her connection with Joe Alwyn, in fact, whenever they were seen together in public, it was as if she was performing for the photographers, but nothing was established at that moment. So no one knew for sure whether they were really dating or simply close pals, the majority of people believed that. They were a couple, and it was only a matter of time before they came out as such. They started to appear together more and more often. After that, Taylor even went to Travis's Kansas estate for Halloween thing. Probably goes without saying, but it persuaded even the doubters that they were dating it was not yet official, however. But one night in Buenos Aires, Argentina, this all changed Travis chose to attend Taylor's performance as part of her tour, Taylor traded a line from a song that was originally composed for Joe Alwyn. Throughout the performance, it was revised by her for Travis Kelsey. People were ecstatic about this. She raced directly to Travis after the performance to give him her first public kiss. Their relationship officially began at this point. Although it seemed that everyone was delighted for them, her ex-husband, Joe Alwyn, wasn't among the pleased people. Taylor dating someone else didn't exactly make Joe pleased especially because it felt like he hadn't been silent throughout their whole relationship. The idea that Taylor had traded a phrase in a song she had written just for Joe infuriated him. She modified it now for her new partner rather than confronting Taylor about it. He began to utterly criticize Travis, making it clear that he wouldn't stay with Taylor for as long as he was. He hinted that he was merely taking his turn with her at this point. Fans were understandably incensed by this since it was not only uncalled for, but also an obvious show of jealousy and resentment online. Users were unable to contain their excitement with one fan writing. It's unbelievable that Joe would say anything so hurtful about Travis. It's very inconsiderate of him. And Taylor relationships are about the quality of the relationship, not how long they survived. Joe is being nasty with his remarks. Travis doesn't deserve this kind of shade from Joe. Another commenter said he seemed to be really pleased with Taylor. The last one said it's getting ridiculous how much attention this whole thing is. Getting although Joe's remarks were inappropriate, the details of their ties remain unknown. Not only were the fans let down by Joe's actions, but Taylor was too. She was surprised that Joe would say anything. Like that about Travis Taylor. However, as an expert, when it comes to the media, the crowd seemed to want her to confront Joe directly about his remarks. But instead, she shielded Trav while she avoided being too combative in her reaction. She did stress that she really loves Travis and would always be at his side, not simply for the publicity. This demonstrated her sincerity in the relationship. Even more, many people conjectured that Taylor was seeing Travis in order to gain notoriety fans again left caught. And then on Taylor's website, despite the fact that this argument is absurd, given that she is already a me star and that her performances are always sold out. Taylor standing up for Travis is everything an admirer remarked it demonstrates how much she cherishes their bond. She has come a long way and doesn't hesitate to stand up for what she values Taylor's elegant reply to Joe's inappropriate remarks only serves to highlight how happy she is with Travis. I'm impressed by how Taylor handled this situation. Asian said a second commenter, she's not just standing up for Travis. She's also establishing limits on how others see her relationships. In my opinion, Joe's statement is equally unclear particularly considering that their breakup was amicable. To the best of my knowledge, they just reached a crossroads in their life and concluded that things couldn't work out any longer. Perhaps I'm mistaken, however. And Joe was hoping for a reconciliation with Taylor. This was the reason he was so angry. I would love to. Oh, know what you think about this whole thing. Do you believe Joe should be content with Taylor and Travis and move on? Or at the very least, leave him alone? Or do you believe that Taylor should accept his rage and that it's perfectly acceptable? Kindly inform me in the comments section. In addition, remember to subscribe to my channel in order to be informed about every celebrity drama as it happens.